Welcome to the Mill Creek Government Channel. I'm Judy Zelina, and joining us on our program, I have representatives from an organization called Cody's Wheels of Hope. The president of Cody's Wheels of Hope is Chris, Cindy Filson, and Cindy is joining us today. Thank you. And her son, Chris Filson. And Chris is not only a friend, we work together, and he is uh, the one of the founding members of Cody's Wheels of Hope. Thank you for joining us today. This is a show I've been wanting to do for quite a while because um, great organization, guys. First off, let's let our viewers know exactly what is Cody's Wheels of Hope. Uh, Cody's Wheels of Hope is a, a 501c3 nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. and we provide new bicycles and other wheeled toys to children with life-threatening illnesses trying to make their life a little, br little happier, a little brighter. Oh, and your mission, Chris, what is the mission of, of Cody's Wheels of Hope? Well, I think she said it right there. Basically, Just you know, these children, they go through a lot in their day-to-day -day lives with medical and uh, other things going on that we just want to give them something just to make put a smile on their face, make mm -hmm. them happy. Okay, obviously, this idea started somewhere. Um, how did it get started, and what was your inspiration? Uh, shortly after uh, Cody passed away, uh, he had a bicycle that my parents had given him for Christmas. Who is Cody? Uh, my son. Okay. Cody. Um, he had a bike that was pretty much like brand new. He got to ride it a couple of times, but it was winter time, so he didn't get a chance to ride it too much. And I decided that I would rather the bike go to someone who could use it rather than it sitting in a garage or something somewhere. So I actually contacted the hospital where he had been going. He had been going to Cleveland Clinic, and I asked the doctor if there was anyone else who could use the bike. And I took it to Cleveland Clinic, and when I got there, the doctor said, uh, I, I have no problem, I can give it to uh, someone, but I have you know, three boys who could use this bike, which one do you want to give it to? And uh, oh, it, it wasn't a decision I wanted to make. <laughs> right, that's a dilemma. And I basically yes. I just said, you know, you know give, the bike, uh, give the bike away and you know, tell me about it some other time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll, I'll let my mom fill it in from there, where it went from there. Okay. Uh, it just happened that my husband, where he worked, uh, the guys had collected money after Cody's death, and we didn't know what we were going to do with it. And when they requested three more bikes, there was just enough money for three bikes. So we got those, and when we started telling people about it, they started handing us money and said, get one for me. And we thought, okay, we'll do this. Okay. You know, we didn't know how long it was going to, we didn't expect it to last this long, but uh, it's just kept growing. So we're happy of that. How long ago was this? That was in 04. So you guys have been around for a while, and, and I know mm -hmm. you've grown. Um, so this got started from, really, your son Cody was the inspiration for all of this. Absolutely. Wonderful. He, uh, one particular incident that I can remember, we were staying at the Ronald McDonald House in Cleveland. Okay. And there was a child there who was from a, a Middle Eastern country who was getting some medical work done. and. Uh, he wanted, he asked me if he could play Hot Wheels with him later. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and I said, you know, I don't know if he really knows what a Hot Wheel is. And in disbelief, he wanted to know what I, what I meant by that. And I had to explain, well, not everyone plays with the same toys around the world, so he might not know what that is. Mm -hmm. So uh, later that day, he went and uh, got a hot, brand new Hot Wheels out of his suitcase. Because I used to give him a, a new Hot Wheels every time he had something medically done if he behaved well and you know everything went well. So he had uh, so many that at some point he'd, uh, he ended up with cars still in the packaging in his suitcase. Mm -hmm. And he took one and he took it down to him and he, and he put it on the table in front of that little boy. And then he told me, now he knows what a Hot Wheel is. Oh, oh my goodness. But it, it was something that he really, for lack of a better term, he treasured his Hot Wheels cars. So for him to give one away it was mm -hmm. mind-boggling when I saw that happen. What a super little boy. Um, so it's something he would have wanted. The logo is interesting. Mm -hmm. I think that is the cutest, the cutest thing, the, the, lo mm -hmm. the logo for Cody's. Mm -hmm. how, did th how did that happen? Well, we just kind of brainstormed and came up with it. Uh, what it means, it, ha it has the CWOH, our initials, in the shape of a bicycle. Mm -hmm. And the seat is a halo, representing Cody, and the five points of light represent his five years of life. Oh, so. wonderful story behind <laughs> that. Um, you're talking about how somebody, when this first happened, they were giving you money for mm -hmm. bikes, mm -hmm. okay? 
who is eligible for a bike? I mean, what are the requirements? The only requirements we have is that the child have a life-threatening illness and be 15 years of age or under. Basically, except for the age, if they qualify for Make-A-Wish, they'll qualify for our program. So you pretty much run in the same criteria as Make-A-Wish? Mm -hmm. Is yes, that what it is? Yes, except for the age, yes. Okay. And um, is this just locally? Do you just keep this in Erie County? You know, how many people have benefited from this? Well, we've given to children in 37 states, which we're very proud of. Well, you are not local. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys get around. But most of our children are in Pennsylvania. We get a lot of applications from the people down in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. Children's Hospital. They give them to the people there, and we get a lot from there, and a lot of them here in Erie. Um, we've probably given away, we don't have an accurate count, I would say 500 plus or minus oh my goodness. since 04. Now, how do you find out about these um, these children in different different states? Well, it started, um, I was taking the applications and giving them to the nurses who worked at the two hospitals that Cody had gone to. Okay. Um, and initially, that's where most of them came from. And we don't have that accurate count because initially it was just people who had given us money to buy them. And like one time I took, t I think it was 10 toys to Cleveland Clinic at one in one shot, but didn't really keep track of who was getting them at that, at that time. Mm -hmm. And then later it progressed and we uh, started a website. And then uh, if, for people who are familiar with WebRings, eventually our name got passed around on WebRings for, for parents who had uh, children with different illnesses. I think it was what the um, acute leukemia, leukemia yeah. um, a certain type of leukemia. They had passed our name around in their WebRing. So that kind of pushed it out of Pennsylvania and in Ohio. Okay. And then eventually the website, uh, we put the application on the website directly, and then that's we started getting applications from everywhere. Okay, now um, I was looking at the applications. Now, they're pretty specific, aren't they? Yes. To what a child would want. Reading this application, it's almost like you've told this this child closed their eyes and dreamed of their dream bike, and you make that come true, correct? Mm -hmm. As close uh, as possible. As close mm -hmm. as we can. Mm -hmm. What happens when I get the application is I will call the parent, talk to them, and ask them what the favorite colors are, which is also on our application. Um, any characters they might like, cartoon or movie characters, uh, anything else, any kind of sports they might be into, anything like that, just to get an idea. And then I'll get online and I'll uh, look for whatever I can. Mm -hmm. I, we ask for an alternative color just in case we can't get the one they want. Mm -hmm. But we try to get as close as they want. And, uh, and just to let everyone know, not only do we give bicycles, we've done skates, skateboards, scooters, train sets, wagons, a lot of wagons. Really? Anything with wheels like that. Some kids can't ride. Bikes. Right. That, that originally started because at first we were doing just bikes. Okay. And then uh, there was a certain child who um, I came in contact with who had hemophilia and he was not allowed to ride a bike. Okay. So his mother asked me if it was possible instead of a bike, could he get a wagon that had seats and seat belts? Oh. So we, and we found one. They were actually relatively easy to mm -hmm. find. And uh, that's what we got for, <clears throat> for that child at that point. And then we decided, that's when we decided it really should be anything with wheels on it. Okay, so it's not no. just limited to a bike. No. no. It's wheels. Right. Mm -hmm. We've even given strollers for the babies. Okay. Uh, the parents can't afford them or something, we get those. Mm -hmm. Or even doll buggies and uh, yeah. what else? I uh, remote control cars. Remote control cars. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we had a, um, down in Hershey, we had a, we had a child who was unfortunately bedridden. So um, your standard wheeled toy was no good to him, but he was able to use a remote control car, which he drove around, drove the, drove the nurses insane. But, uh, <laughs> which is his mission as a child. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how are you guys funded? Uh, mostly through private donations, and then we do do fundraisers throughout the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are some of your fundraisers that you have? Uh, like last year, we had uh, Big Bash for Bikes in the fall, which was what we call the Erie's first indoor dice walk, and we had an auction and everything, a couple bands. Uh, we're going to repeat that this year, a little differently, but What's it's involved in that? Did you call it a bike bash? 
Uh, no, uh, bash, big bash for bikes. Big bash for bikes. Right. Okay. The indoor dice walk is based on the poker and dice runs. Only instead of going from place to place, okay. we have vendor stations, mm -hmm. and you go to them to roll your dice. And then we have the entertainment and the food and everything else to go with it. So you did that last year. Is this going to be an annual event? It may be. <laughs> You're hoping for it to be. Yes. yes. Yeah, yes. and I'm sure it's going to grow with every mm -hmm. year. Um, anything else? Any other fundraisers um, that you have? Well, this year, also on June 2nd, we're going to have Cody's Ride of Hope, which will be a bicycle ride around the peninsula. Uh, we don't have all the details worked out yet. People can go to our website and check that out or call us. Okay. And we will have more details soon. Um, on June 1st, there's a ride in town called Emily's Ride. It's a motorcycle poker run. Mm -hmm. It's a memorial ride that's put on by Kelly and Tim Sudarth, who started it in memory of their niece who died in a car fire. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, so for the last few years, we've been the beneficiary of the proceeds from that. Oh, okay. So sometimes um, other organizations right. may have have a fundraiser and and right. designate you as yes. their recipient. Mm -hmm. and there was the BMX. Right. We've also done uh, so far. We've done four uh, races at BMX tracks uh, in Pennsylvania. And this is a big BMX family. <laughs> this I do know. Yes. yes. <laughs> Everybody BMXs and the, rides their bikes in this family. Um, so you know, basically the the track, the hosting track, just volunteers their. Um, their workers to run the race for the day. Uh, we'll do 50-50s, raffles, uh, and then the, each rider we were able to give t-shirts and or trophies to depending on funding for the year. Oh, how nice. Now, of course, private donations are always welcome. If mm -hmm. someone's interested mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. sending a donation, where would they send that to? Uh, we have a post office box. It's 8735, mm -hmm. and the uh, zip is 16505. Uh, you can do it that way. Uh, if you can't remember the address, call us, we'll tell you. Uh, but it's on our website. Um, we what, also have... Your website? What is your website it's address? www.cwoh.org. Okay. Okay. And uh, we also get donations. We just got another, a second donation from Erie Insurance the other day. We got one last year okay. for $1,000, and that's to help fund the helmets for the kids. Helmets are given with all bicycles, scooters, skates, skateboards, things like that. We give a helmet with each one. Oh, that's right. So. You would give skateboards, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How wonderful. How wonderful. Um, now, how do you acquire the bikes? Do, do you accept donations, or is it something you prefer to purchase, or how does that work? Well, we like to have them get new ones, and since most of them have to be shipped, it's really best just for me to order them and send them, because if someone brings a bike to us, we have really have no place to store it, and we have to wait for a particular child wanting that size and that color, and sometimes that takes a long time, so it just sits. So sometimes what we do with these bikes that have sat for a while, we use them for impromptu raffles or something like that. We make much more than the bike is worth, so we're able to fund more bikes that way. Okay, but basically, um, you like to purchase the bike, right? Pretty much custom ordered right. for that particular child, yes. right? Yep, and we usually have it sent directly to them. Right. Right. Well, that's true. If you have a bike that's all put together and everything, can't you know, send it. Are you going to ship mm -hmm. that? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. sure you can find a box, but that would be, yeah, um, mm -hmm. pretty cumbersome. So, um, now, I know through the years you've um, dealt with a lot of people, you've met a lot of people, mm -hmm. you've worked with a lot of people, but I also know respect and, uh, an individual's privacy is important to you, correct? Right, yes. very, very. You don't sell any of this information? Nothing. Nobody gets any information. We do ask on the application that parents need to fill out and sign it. If we are allowed to use their name, we use first names only. Okay. Um, their pictures, which they would have to send to us, or anything like that. If they don't want them, they can mark the box that says no, and we okay. respect that. Um, we m mention all the kids. I put out a newsletter every three months, and I will mention the child's first name and their age and where they're from mm -hmm. and say that okay. they got this or that. Well, if it's someone who doesn't want their child's name used, I'll say a child in maybe Pennsylvania received this. Okay. So I won't so you, mention so it. So you work with the parent in right. any respect that they would prefer. Right. 
on our website, you can actually view the pictures of about 70? 90. 90? 90 plus. It's like 91, 92 children who have received their bikes whose parents did allow us to use their, their names and faces and their, on the website. Their, okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Now, I know, Cindy, you've got a lot of success stories. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've got some great testimonials. Do you have anything that you could share with our viewers? Well, there's one story about a, a girl that was sick. Um, she's not one of our kids. And uh, she was in the hospital. And a nurse there was taking care of her. And she was telling her about her son, who had, I believe, leukemia, and that he had received a bike from us. Well, she was over her illness and she was better. Her 13th birthday came along and she requested that everyone send, give her a check to send to us as a donation. And 13 years old, and it just, oh my it was really something. Beautiful girl, very beautiful girl. There was also um, the, um, there was a boy locally here from Erie, I think he was 16 at the time, and he got his first job. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, he got his first mm -hmm. job. and. Uh, he put aside, I think it was what, 10%? Mm -hmm. Is what he told us? He put aside 10% of his pay every year, uh, any money he ever made, whether it was cutting grass or his, actually this, by this time it was his first real job. Mm -hmm. And uh, he set aside 10% of his yearly income and gave it away and, uh, every year. And this, that particular year he gave it to us. Mm -hmm. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. So this is something that even our viewers mm -hmm. can think of some different way mm -hmm. to help Cody's Wheels of Hope. Right. To continue with your mission. Right. What are some of the children's reactions have been, or the, or the parents' reactions to when they see the joy on their child's face? Well, it's really something. Sometimes I get calls from the parents or email. Okay. I've even talked to some of the children on, on the phone. Mm -hmm. I was going someplace one time and my cell phone rang, so I pulled over and answered it. And this mother said that her daughter wanted to talk to me. And she was so excited and just telling me she could, she could hardly talk. She couldn't get the words out fast Aww. enough. And after I hung up, I just sat there and cried because it was just so, so good, a really good feeling to make. These kids are in a lot of pain and during their treatments. That's right. And this gives them something to come home to and look forward to. So it really, it really makes it fun. Now, this would be any child that is, is sick with any particular illness. Any life-threatening illness. Any life-threatening right. illness. Right, right. Because I know Cody battled, what, what did? It's called Wilms tumor. It's a type of okay. cancer of the kidney, mm -hmm. found in children only. Okay, so it's not just a cancer? Mm -hmm. um, no, it could be anything life-threatening. Okay. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful organization. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, you don't. You can't do everything by yourself. Volunteers are very important, aren't they? Mm -hmm. What are some of the duties? Now, if I decided I wanted to volunteer, what would be something that uh, you could find a place for me to do? Well, we have at some of our events. We do need volunteers. We have to scrounge around for volunteers to help us out. So there's that. And we could have people just any time selling our T-shirts, uh, if we have 50-50 tickets going for any event, you know, there's those out there. Um, they could, if someone wanted to volunteer, we could take your name and number and get you on a list. And when something comes up, call and see if you're available and, and do that. Now, do you sell t-shirts all the time, too? I usually have them available. See, this is one of them. <laughs> there's a t-shirt. And if someone did want to call you, what, uh, how could they get a hold of you? What number could, should they call? Uh, my number is 814-460-8228. Okay. And if it pertains to a, um, an event, we have an event coordinator who's my sister-in-law. Her name is Deborah, and her number is 814-323-2966. Okay. So if you're looking maybe to volunteer for that or something like that, just give her a call. Because it sounds like you have a lot of events that you um, have throughout the year. You know, especially, I like this bike uh, ride that's going on in the peninsula. This is something new. This will be your first mm -hmm. year yes, doing first this. Mm -hmm. And what do you anticipate that it's going to be? I mean, how long and? 
Well, what we're doing is uh, we're letting the people go really as long as far as they want. Families will be using the bike path and the casual riders uh, and experienced riders, the ones who are always out there doing this, they can use the road. Okay. We talked to the peninsula people about that and they're happy, they're fine with those people using the road. So the families can go as far as they want and we'll try to have people, if you want to start coming back to get to the other side, we'll mm -hmm. have people to cross them at certain okay. stations. Okay. So, but people can collect donations. We'll have a registration sheet and a um, what's it called? <laughs> when the you sign pledge up sheet? pledge sheet and, the pledge and sheet. pledge can okay. people can uh, donate money and mm -hmm. they'll do the ride. So even if this is something that you think you would be interested in, um, you were looking for this to be in the fall or no, this. Summer? That one is June second. Oh, that it's one a Sunday. is June second. Okay. Right. Right. Beautiful weather. You've got to get out there and ride that bike for Cody's Wheels of Hope. And it's rain or shine. Exactly. <laughs> of course it would be. And it's going to shine that day. You guys just do a wonderful job. I, Like I said, I am so pleased that I'm able to do this program and let our viewers know that you're out there and what an asset you are to our community. Not just our community. I mean... You're throughout the United States. Mm -hmm. You're helping these children and putting a smile on their face. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. You know firsthand, you know, how important it is to bring a smile to a sick child's face. And, mm -hmm. and I, I, I give you a lot of credit and um, you're, to be able to take the sadness and the pain that you had, but to build something positive right. for others. You know, it takes special people, and I'm pleased to know you both. Mm, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for joining us. Thank Again, you. if you have any questions, please give them a call at 460-8228. Right. And the website, again, wealth of information, great website, by the mm. way. www.cwoh.org. And I wonder who had a hand in that wonderful website. <laughs> uh, Cindy, thank you for joining us. Thank Chris, you. Chris, thank you. I'm so thank pleased you. I could do that. Is there anything else you wanted to add, or do you think we pretty much, uh, that, that we didn't mm -hmm. cover? Oh. I think we covered everything. If they have questions, mm -hmm. if we missed something. Call us or go to the website, call. right? Yes, thank our, you. Our, our email addresses are listed on the website if they want to email us as well. Okay, which is? Um, well, there's cindy at cwh.org, uh, chris at cwh.org, that's chris with a K, okay. and Deborah at cwh.org. So <laughs> they can get a hold of you no matter what. Right. Yes. Okay. Again, thanks for joining me. On thank the you very much today. for thank having you. us. Viewers, thank you for joining us on the Milk Creek Government Channel. Until next time, have a wonderful day.